guys. Welcome back to another episode of Harry Howard Talks. I am here with Jason Roselle. He's a life, wellness, and relationship coach. That's right. He, that's right. And you're, are you, you, and, and you're very experienced in this field. That's right. And I, I'm here to give you a little bit of motivation. You know what I mean? Hey, you were on Steve Harvey dancing to some fitness music with that's him. Right. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> no, uh, you know, a lot of people just want to get in great shape physically, but I tell them if your mind's not right, your body will never get tight, you know? That's true, and that, that's your thing. That's, that's from uh, Caliente Fitness. That's, that's right. That's the motto, right? That's right, uh, Caliente Fitness is my brand. I Caliente. Found Caliente. Caliente, Caliente Fitness, got it. Because I'm from Spain, yeah. Um, no, Caliente Fitness is uh, my wellness company I started in 2010, and it's been empowering women and men to really get their, their body, is one thing, like I said, but their mind and heart to the best place it needs to be. Uh, yes, mind yeah. and heart. And you, you, um, you struggled a lot with your weight. Yes. And that, that's what got you motivated. You had that, you had that Oreo cookie, and mm -hmm. then you realized uh -huh. you had to make a change. Oh, you've been watching me on, on social media. I huh? have. I've He's been, been watching. Been watching you. Or he, maybe he likes Oreo cookie cookies as much as I do. I, I do, I do, but I dip it in almond milk. Oh, oh. damn! I used to, have, I used to dip it in hundred <laughs> percent. Damn dairy Full milk. milk that you uh, bought at oh yeah, back in the day, I'm an '80s boy. <laughs> 80s uh, boy. But yeah, no, I was, uh, I was really, I was actually <laughs> obese yeah. uh, 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 until the age of 21. And a lot of times, people they're like, "Oh, I saw your pictures. You were only a size 40, 235 pounds." I'm like, "Buddy, if I was six foot tall, I would be 350 pounds." So, hello, oh. I'm not a super tall guy. You're so, not. So if we're talking like, say, whether you're Nick Jonas or Mark Wahlberg, which are around our height, let's be real. You're going to be a fatty, McPatty. Oh, and, yeah. And the thing is, I was miserable. A lot miserable. of patties. A lot of patties. <laughs> you got one roll here, one roll there. And you're like, wait, where am I going over <laughs> you here? You had a negative five pack. <laughs> <laughs> Literally negative. <laughs> negative six pack. There I we go. <laughs> yeah, I was just, look, who, I love food. I love food. But I let it control my life. And, and what caused it is hitting rock bottom being depressed, getting bullied, and I'm sick of getting people getting bullied. You see, uh, more people getting bullied right. nowadays, there needs to be more love. There needs to be more love, and, and if, if, if you can't make them happy, give them a little McPatty, give them a vegan, what is it called, Impossible Burger? Yes. That's it, baby. It is. That's give it. An impossible Burger. We'll make it possible because with you. It, yeah, we'll make it possible. Mission possible. Ooh, I like you that. You said I look like Ooh. Tom Cruise. We're gonna yeah, I told him be before <laughs> the shot, I was like, you're, you're a mixture of Tom Cruise a mixture of uh, what was the other one? Matt uh, Damon. Matt Damon and and a taller taller version of uh, Michael J. Fox. Yes. Does he not? Does he not look? I feel like this is the Jason Rojo and Howie. Hell yeah. Is this star Hell over yeah. here? Well, I'm gonna jump on the couch like Tom Cruise any second. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you haven't been on Oprah yet, though. I have not. You will though. I heck yeah, I will. You're gonna Damn be right. lifting the couch. You're gonna be That's benching it. Right. <laughs> One hand and be like, "That's the way." Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh -huh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Look at you burning calories oh, we're right burning. now. Right now we're at what? Eight calories. Come on, let's jump. <laughs> we're doing hoo -ah, hoo -ah, hoo -ah, hoo -ah. Yes, we're gonna do it, man. <laughs> All right. So this, ca this couch isn't only meant for sitting. That's also meant for lifting. Lifting. Yeah. Mm. So do we have any audience questions? I mean, I know there's a huge audience. I know there, there are, right? You know? Yeah, I Damn, know. Damn, that girl's blowing him kisses left and I right. I know, floor seats. We got her floor seats. Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my fans. Oh. Owie. Oh, it's such a dream. So you're the first fitness trainer and music artist. Yes. Uh, I got to say, I have been blessed with being the first uh, music trainer and artist artists at once because a lot yes. of times people can be you know producing music and becoming famous for that yada mm -hmm. yada people can become famous for doing fitness i was like let me be a little different i took my passion of fitness and music and i will say it proudly i love with the right partner sex i created a program called sex exercise that was you're not being judged for enjoying sex i'm just saying <laughs> all right and i like really good sex who doesn't right <laughs> And there's people out there, if, if you don't like sex, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, more power to you. But for me, <laughs> I took some of my passions. I created Sex Exercise. And this is the first workout music video that released and turned into a DVD. It was yeah, on the, awesome. I was on the, I was on the front uh, cover page of, uh, sorry, lifestyle page of the New York Daily News. Steve Harvey picked it up from there. Was I was on Saturday Night Live. They spoofed me on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> from there. Uh, I got booked overseas. I went to China, 
Honduras, uh, 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 Sweden, and what was the other one? Give me a second. Oh, and Netherlands to literally do my music workouts. So epic. Literally. So I was like half naked half of the time. All right. So I epic. went from the the monster that you would be afraid to look at because here comes Weeble Wobble. That was my nickname, by the way. That was really. I swear to God, that was my nickname oh my God. in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just picture me 80 pounds heavier than I am now. No muscle, just uh, full of stretch marks. I was just the opposite. Jeez. But here's what I tell people. The people that don't know me, it's kind of like people were to be, meet you right now and be like, damn, how is a good looking son of a bitch? You know what I mean? Like saying, man, he's lucky, he's fortunate, he's got a show. But yeah. they don't know, people don't know what struggles you've been through, what struggles yes. I've been through. I am so blessed to say all the struggles I've been through is what caused me to be here right now, right? That's the only way you can move up. That's up. Through struggle. That's it. And I love the struggle. When I make mistakes, when I mess up, I don't, I used to be like, when I was younger, I'd be like, why is this happening to me? No, what is this teaching me? What is it teaching you? What is it teaching us, right? So anyone watching and listening right now, I want to say one thing. When things are not going the way you want it to be, let it be a lesson, learn from it and grow from it. Because if you choose not to take action from that, I promise you nothing will change. Nothing will. Right? Someone just broke your heart, whoop the F and do. It hurts, right? Don't just put a Band-Aid on it, right? Like most people do and find another boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Why? You're just going to put crap, neosporin, slap a Band-Aid. <laughs> no. You need to heal. You need to say, okay, what did I learn from that? Making sure what I don't want in the future and become the best version of yourself. If you apply that with your mind, with your fitness, the way you eat, your relationships with yourself and others, I swear to God, everything, you attract nothing but the best. The best. That's it, baby. And that's why you won that competition on Julian Michaels' series TRX. Oh, that's right. Sweat Inc. Sweat Inc. My last reality show. And you spoke show. about all this on there. I did. I did. Uh, Sweat Inc. was a, a reality show very similar to America's uh, a Top Chef but for, uh, for fitness. Who's the next, who's the next uh, fitness phenomena? Yada, yada. So it was Jillian Michaels, the host, and Randy Hetrick, the founder of TRX. And I'm not going to lie, I was super intimidated. They auditioned over 10,000 people across the states. They, my specialty is group fitness. Yeah. They brought me in. I beat out all the competitors in my division. I won $10,000 just in my division, went to the finals. I didn't win the show, but I was labeled the Spanish, because uh, I'm from Syria, like I said, <laughs> uh, Richard Simmons, because my workouts are all about moving, shaking, Grooving, ooh, rocking, uh, and that's how you burn. And calories. that's how you do it, in and out of the bedroom, baby. So, in so, so you, so, so you have that mentality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're just constantly having fun, eating healthy, but burning calories. It's dancing true. The intercourse is a workout. I have to drink protein after I have intercourse. Why? Because I burn calories. And because I bench. And because you let it all. Yes, out. you, you let it all, it all out. out. Yeah, right. You got to refuel, my brother. Shake out. You got, some people have a cigarette. I have muscle milk. Right, there you go. <laughs> it's a win-win, right? So you got to, you know, potato, potato. Come on, That's it. right? Potato, potato. And if the work. girlfriend says, or the, or your boy, I don't know if you're straight, boy, gay, gay, whatever you are, respect it. Says, yes. oh well, thank you for my my shake, Mister Howie. I said, yeah, thank yeah. you. Come again. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's what I do. And what do you do? You refuel. I do. I no, do seriously, 80% of what we all look like is what we eat. People are so stuck. Oh, my God, I don't have time to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for this, this, and that. I'm like, buddy, that's an excuse. You can look and feel a certain way if you predominantly eat a certain way, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Working out is going to be great for building uh, muscle, lean muscle, tighten up your core, your arms, your legs, your thighs, your quads, the butt, the whole night. Oh, yeah. But it depends on how hardcore you want to be. I've been in covers of magazines. I, I don't care to be in another cover. Or I, let, me, no, I'm, let me rephrase that. I will be in other covers, but I don't need to <laughs> show off my body because back then it was more in my insecurity. I was like, I need to get in the best shape possible because I was not happy with myself. I proved that I can do it. But I was also eating asparagus, tuna fish, and chicken with no damn salt. With no damn calientito rico, calientito, you know what I mean? Accent. You gotta have la comida. You know, we got Andy I in the house, man. I should have said exotic life coach. 
<laughs> Exotic life goal. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like Come on. Come on, you better do it. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's do it. Do it. I like it like that. that. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. I want some. I want some. You like it like ever talk. A TV. A Harry Howard talks. Oh, oh, go, oh, oh. Woo! Harry Howard sings. And for only $49.95, you're at Ever Media Studio. Oh, yeah, dude. You are in the studio. Yes. Bam. Booyah, God. Booyah. You can watch us. You can hear us on the podcast. Yes. What do you want? Ever talk media. Ever talk. Yes. Come on. The place where we don't only talk. But we play and dance. And we dance. And we burn calories. Ay, carrego. We have protein in here. Oh, God. That's another segment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, no, listen, I want to say thank you for having me. Oh. Because I know we're not wrapping up this show yet. No, I just, no, I just no, want to no, give got you a seven, moment. We got seven minutes. Oh, I thought we had nine. Oh, uh, well, you know, that's what happens when you're having fun. Time flies. Damn. Bye. Look, you got my socks. Dang. You got my socks all pretty. You got me all so- excited. You what can't you even got, see boy? my socks. You can see Damn. my Damn. Look at that you leg You didn't even hair. wear socks for me today? Look at that leg hair, bro. Damn. I yeah. thought this was a date, man. I, I know. Well, I am wearing socks, but they're cut. Oh, they're cut. They're the Well, cut I'm going to have socks. to bring you to my Jason Roselle, not only life coaching, wellness, relationship Ooh, coaching. designer. It's going to be... Upscale fashion design. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna wear socks to my knees. Ooh. Yeah. We got cr- you, Just gonna- like my dad. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this took a whole nother conversation. <laughs> my dad wears, used to wear Let socks. Let me ask you a question. What's your, what's your horoscope sign? I'm a Libra. Libra. What's your rising sign? I don't know. You don't know your rising? No. Oh, girl. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. What I should we gonna know these do answers with you? when I go on dates. Ay, Dios mío. Okay, how about this? Ask me your questions because I'm going to read your, the, your palm real quick. I want to see what kind of magic you got in store for your life. Just ask you another question right now. At whatever you want. Do you want to talk about your book? Why not? Why not? Why the heck that's not? Your, that's your prized possession You know, right that's there. the thing. I see these Your book, pe- Yummy I, Healthy Dinners. Th- that's right. It's you on can, Amazon. And you can eat pizza and still lose weight. Damn right. You can eat pizza that's what you and said. still lose weight. You said you had, you, had, you had pizza. So let's talk about Yeah, look this. at that. It's right on there. You like that? Okay, so this is called Yummy Healthy Dinners. Yes. Okay, it's for people that do not like to cook. It's people that don't have the time to cook. And most importantly, lack creativity when it comes to having yummy dinners. In this book, I give you 15, and I repeat only 15. Look at that stud muffin. Look oh at that. Oh, my God. You, you are do breaking it? Did you see that? Uh-huh. And he goes, I like it. I want it. Look I want some Taylor more. Suit. Uh, you, you like that? See the crease of your muscle That's on that right. laser. Right there. Wow. Look at that. Manicured all up. You know what I mean? Man, you are a TV personality. No question. Damn right. So right here, yeah. we have chicken <laughs> cauliflower. Fajita. All right, you can have it in chicken. Fajita. Chick- fajita. That's what I should it's, say. It's, it's fajita. Because I would, because I'm like so uncultured, I'd be like fajita. Fajita. <laughs> Do you want a fajita, sir? No, it's a fajita. I would love a fajita. Thank you. Oh, how good. <laughs> it's very good, very good. Oh, I just went into Persian bone. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, so look. So we got chicken and steak cauliflower fajitas. Okay, all under 300 calories. That's a steak. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Now, of course, you're saying, wait a minute. What is the, the, the taco made out of it's made out of cauliflower, and you can get it on Amazon when you get my book. So it's cauliflower um, tortillas. Here we have cauliflower pizza. Whoa, that's it, cauliflower. Yeah, that, that, that's amazing. Yeah, and, and it's done. Zimbo Zambo, my favorite shrimp linguine, okay, made out of zucchini, okay? This bad boy only has 188 calories, tw- packed with 20 grams of protein, only 2 grams of carbs. I mean, this, guys, here's the thing. I can go on and on. Stuff bell peppers. You know who I, whose show I was just on that's going to have me again is uh, Adam Carolla. Yeah, Adam Carolla. Podcast. Yeah, I was on his podcast. I gave him the book. I swore to God the next day his maid filmed him having my, my uh, stuff bell peppers. <laughs> he plugged me again. I mean, you want to talk about sales? Like, I didn't, I knew Adam was an amazing human being, badass. Yes. I didn't realize how big the podcast was until I'm like, holy crap, so many people want it. And the loyalty that I have for him for plugging me, and you better freaking try my stuff and plug it this away. I swear to oh, God. I'm plugging you. I got, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to tell We're you gonna something. We're going to have to buy an outlet, like a whole new outlet of plugs. You, you're damn right. But I want oh my you. God, yeah. Here, this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I got for, this is going to be, this is the, the Howie. All, All right. right, here we go. This is the Howie. Steak, cauliflower, <laughs> 
rice medley. Look at that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So right when you're feeling like a little Matt Damon, hey, hey, how are you? You Whoa. see that? Yeah, yeah. Right you feel a little Tom Cruise-ish? Oh, yeah. Right there. We're going to get you that six-pack. Guys, 265 calories, 31 grams of protein, only six grams of fat, and 14 grams of carbs. This book, my friend, which is for you. Thank you. Will not only change your mentality on how you look at food, but your physique effortlessly. And it's only $19.99 on Amazon. Booyaka. I'm going to do the movie The Buff Identity. Come on, Jay. I'm going to do The come Buff on. Identity. Come on, come on, come there on, go. come on. Ah, ah, ah. Damn. And, and this book is also for people who don't like to cook. That's what's also it's, amazing. It's for people, honestly, predominantly that don't have the time to that cook. That don't have the time. And or just said, you know what? i just rather go to Ralph's and get me a roasted chicken and a quick salad, right? And that used to be me many years ago. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm not a professional cook, but I love food. And I know if I can knock out half of the carbs, half of the sugars, X, Y, Z, I'm going to have delicious, yummy dinners. That has become a bestseller. And all I can say is like, wait, just wait. In three weeks, what you look like, you call me up, be like, hola, Jason, me amo, Howard. And I'm like, yeah. wait, I thought you were American. He's like, pero gracias a caliente. I'm like, oh, snap. Dang. Give me some love. Boom. That was explosive right there, damn. man. You, felt you work energy. out. You work out. I'm going to have to ice this you... after fist. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Did you get bit? Oh, because st- you look swole. Oh. oh! We're going to need some Benadryl after this. <laughs> damn. Yeah. Forget the Neosporin. <laughs> 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 man, you have such a great personality. Thank you, you man. That, Likewise. You think that's the reason why you've achieved so much success and so many people want you in the programs because you're also so entertaining. Like your workout stuff is entertaining. Sure, to watch. sure. I, I, I 100% give the credit to consistency in my personality. Um, when I came to LA uh, 15, 16, 16 years ago, I don't know, 2006? Yeah. No, 2005. I went to every agent. And they said to me the following. 90% of them said the following. Jason, um, because you're mixed race, I can't really push you for American. I can't really push you for Spanish. So, okay. Jason, unfortunately, you're not tall enough. Jason, you're not good looking enough. Jason, you either need to get really muscular or really lean. Right now, you're just, I was like, wow. I was like, wow. Can I ask you a question? And I, I'll never forget, I was, at this point, I was 25 pounds heavier than I am now. I wasn't obese. I was just chunky at this moment. I was like, what is it that you do like about me? What was it mm-hmm. that you were doing prior to telling me what I am and what I'm not? Uh, literally, m- most of all said I was a struggling actor. And I decided to open up my agency or my management company. I said, interesting. And you're telling me how the F I'm supposed to look? F right. you and the horse <laughs> that you rode on, okay? Boom. Here's the thing. A lot of times in life, people that are unhappy with themselves or haven't achieved things because they didn't want to bust their ass, they're very quick to judge and tell you how you should be. And nobody, and I mean nobody, should ever listen to anybody else. You got to follow your gut and know your worth, right? And that applies to anything and anyone. You know what I'm saying? The next time somebody turns you down, you want to... You want to hang out with, date, have sex with, whatever it is. And they don't show you as much like energy as you're giving them. Dude, life is short. And I'm short enough. I don't have time for the bullshit. You just got to. Seriously. You just have to, you have to end it. You, know? you got to cut it right then and there. I know. Because anytime you put up with it, whatever you put up with, you will end up with. That's it. Exactly. And as amazing as you are, I'm going to have to cut this too. Get the F We're going to have to rub out. We're going to have to wrap. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you so much for having me, man. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Jason Roselle. Thank you. I mean, look, we're at Ever Media Studios. We are. Get a picture of these. Look look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those guns. Bada boom. Boom. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Follow me on social media, right? Oh, yeah. You better follow Follow me on social media at Jason Roselle Live. Make sure you follow Ever Talk. Every and uh, most most importantly, show love to get love. We'll see you in the next one. And you can still eat pizza. That's right. <laughs>